Representative seats in the 120th district in Luzerne County. Five candidates are hoping to get on the November ballot, two Democrats and three Republicans. Right now, Democratic candidate Fern Leard has about 61% of the vote, and fellow candidate John Morgan has 39% of the vote. On the Republican side for the 120th district, three GOP candidates, Leanne McDermott, Brenda Pugh, and Patrick Musso, all going head to head in this primary. Here's a look at the results of this race so far. Brenda Pugh is in the lead with 63% of the vote. We have two reporters on this race tonight. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules is covering the Democratic candidates, while Taylor Wharton B is covering the Republican candidates. Let's first check in with Alicia at Fern Leard's party and a lot of happy supporters. Alicia. Aaron and Ann, we are back here again with Fern Leard, who has gotten that Democratic nomination. Now tell me, just we were talking earlier a little bit about how important it is to just hear the people's uh, problems. So tell me how you've been able to do that. Uh, by meeting people where they are, uh, whether it's knocking doors, canvassing, or you know running into people at a park or a social event. Uh, it's very, very important to listen to everyone because sometimes there are problems you don't know exist. And I feel very strongly that this campaign should not be about us without us. And I'm going to make sure that that doesn't happen. Right. And there's so many different groups represented in the 120th district. And you did mention that your background, you've had experiences with so many different groups. So tell me, how is that preparing you for this role? Well, I mean, I didn't know it at the time, but I, I kind of grew up all over the place. I've lived in projects, I've lived in the suburbs, I've lived on farms. Um, I went from homeless to homeowner in five years, so I've really gone from top to bottom, bottom to top. And the district is so spread out in those areas that I have the unique perspective to have experienced what people are going through, so I know how to help solve it. Right, and what is your number one message that you want to give to everyone that supported you, everyone that came out and supported you tonight? There are not enough words to tell them how much I appreciate all of their help and all of their hard work because we would not be here without them. Thank you so much, Fern, and we are wishing you the best of luck in November. Reporting live, I'm in Wilkes-Barre with, um, with Fox 56 News first at 10.